Last time. Greetings, adventurer. Is there all I would assist you with? There's a ravaged corpse <laughs> represented by a nice little uh, plant. A flower. Can't speak good. Not again. How many bodies I see. No matter how many I see, I kind of get used to the horrid sight. That poor woman. Identical deaths have been reported in the central shroud. Well, the masked stranger you seek does not seem to feature of in any, sightings of the winged eyeball are common enough. The creature appears to be moving the bodies. But to what end, none can say. The victims have all been young women. All are found with their faces mutilated beyond recognition. It's been difficult to identify them. So as to notify the next of... Hmm. This button, engraved with a lily motif. The very same object was found upon another victim. A family sigil. Perhaps that of an organization. Either way, I dare to hope that this fine will prove pivotal in solving the murders. Mount speed has increased. Alamar would like to hold you would like you to hold on to the button. I would have you hold on to this lily button. You'll need it to continue your investigation. While that isn't standard procedure to entrust key evidence to individuals, you've proven yourself reliable and resourceful in this matter. I see no reason why you shouldn't carry on with your work. If I might make a suggestion, you might wish to take the button to Gridania and have it examined by Moon. Perhaps, mayhap, someone in her vast network of contacts can shed light upon the system. Show the button to Moon. to this area I have not been to yet. Try to hit a crystal there, maybe save some stuff.
Kortha Central Highlands. It's a new region for me. Very snowy. Fort of Fear. There are dark places that only adventurer may illume, and Sir Carolot is about to point the way to one such pit of peril. I heard much of your doings, and I think you're the man for this task. To the west is Demazelle Darkhold. It was meant to serve as the new keep of Lord Demazelle, ever a friend of the House Duradan. But before the mansions and car before the masons and carpenters could complete their work within the caves, hordes of void sent appeared and drove them out. In the years since, the creatures have consolidated their presence. As such, we have officially petitioned your assistance in reclaiming the Dark Old. All arrangements have been made. You need only give us your scent. Speak with Sarah Lafine and the Ingrius if you're with us, and she'll tell you what you need to know. The Adventure Guild's representative for local love quest of the Observatorium is seeking an adventure to undertake guild loves. Good evening to you, Sam. My name is Claire Simon and I represent the interests of the Adventurers Guild here in the Observatorium. If I might be so bold, have you any interest in undertaking a guild love or two? I believe you'll find the experience most rewarding. Ah, oh, but it pains me to say I should first administer a trial leave. I must beg your forgiveness for my premature proposal. This lead uh, should serve well as a test. If you're willing to accept it, please do so now. Sure. But they're most humble things, sir. The dragons and their minions would terrorize my homeland for generations, and we appreciate all who would aid our cause. To attract the two beasts which threatened the Abessi, you must slay Snapjaws and use their meat as bait. This method is far from foolproof, though, and I fear they may attract other ravenous creatures. Wild-eyed and near wordless with shock and deeply shaken to cold, seeks an intrepid sword to hunt a ravaging horror. Help me, for the Ruth of Hallow, help me. My caravan, all are slain. Something huge and savage lunged out of the storm. The screams, I, you, you've got to go and kill the swiven thing. Kill it, as it did my traveling companions. As long as those monsters are out there, every one of our arses will be hanging out in the wind. Look sharp, the adventurer. As adept as you are with your steel, whatever it was, it seemed to be everywhere at once. Red murder wreathed in a white storm. I'm well, a traveler, mate. You just need a trip to quarter. Uh, don't tell me it's your first visit to the shop. I shall update my register with your name so you may access this location in the future. What's up, Malkalin? Speak softly to me. Malkalin's teeth are chattering with something other than cold, and he has a beseeching look of one seeking an adventurer's cure to a nasty ill. I need to talk to you, adventurer. I was down in the snow house, keeping out of the wind, when I heard whispers. I swear to the life of my chocobos. I could see I couldn't see anyone in there, but I'm sure I heard something. Go and see who it was. Else I don't know how I'll sleep tonight. From curiosity and scorn, Malcolm will report an odd sighting. I can't see as how I ought to care, but I saw a fellow throwing snowballs at a snowman. Why no one would engage in such japery in the cold, I can't rightly say. When nut gathering and lost more than he found, is my guess. You better make sure that it don't happen to you, lad. Not that I know precisely what happened, mind ye. 
What's that? Me? Ask? I got chocobos to see to. If De Crow wants to upend his head soup in the snow, I don't know what business of mine it'd be. Yeah, that's his name, Davercrow. I don't know. He sells things, goes places, don't seem to be the kind of life to me, begging pardon. You want to see him? I reckon he's somewhere about here. Softly, adventurer. Those around here think I'm water drunk, I'll wager. <laughs> Never seen a snow toss before, the lazy by and ours. Sit on your ass in front of a poor fire too long, and soon you've got the swipe and white knuckles. To sleep better for tossing snowballs without needing Lady Mido Mistress Ale to sing your lullaby. What's that you say? Why not give it a try? It's as simple as you imagine. Reach reach on down, grab some of the party white, and throw. You learned to him up throw. More snow on the ground than hot meals on the table. All you can do is join De Crovo in a little snow toss. You learn the motion. How about we have ourselves some fun with it? Huh? Reach down into the powder and throw a godly sized lump at me. Hot as you can. Well, make sure you aim first, eh? Much as I'd got a good laugh out of it, I doubt Devereaux over here would take a fancy face full of snow. Four. Lucid dreaming was there. So I mean your sights and throw your best snowball. No need to hold back. I'm not made of spin spun glass, you know. Oh, you got your arm to write songs about. Felt that that felt good, eh? <laughs> Cold hands, warm heart. That's a secret to long living. Really, there's much more to it. Just throw with your snow underfoot. Of course, if you try to do the same other kinds of ground, you'll end up with a fistful of nothing. Where's the gain in that? Anyhow, like they say, trust snowballs and snowmen. That way you can hurl them as fast as you fancy. Snowmen don't mind. They're made of the same stuff, eh? Go on, give it a throw. Throw it at the snowman right outside. Another snowman. They are throwing. Should I eat? Maybe I should eat. No, I eat dummy dummy. Dummy dummy throw like zero. Only become yummy yummy if I throw like a hero. Throw again at the snowman. Yummy, yummy. So much to fear, though. Hero not here. Throw at me again. Wee-hee. <laughs> Finally, a throw over here. All yummy, no dummy. 
There's snow in my boots. I'm happy now. Snow tossed hero made. I need a tired need to sleep. Don't worry, as they say, they call you crazy. Revolutionaries always get called crazy. Well, I have lost my marbles. Fortunately, they weren't any very, they weren't very important. There you are. You ran it a while. I think like a little horse horror frost on the nose hair, huh? So men talk, you say. Let's see how I rolled the thing myself, and it wasn't like I engaged in a swiping red white mage. I hide my stuff. Now you go lie a spell and don't say anything to nothing to them inside. They'll figure you water drum for sure. They might even put you in for a leeching. Come by for another snow toss when you're feeling a little fanciful. This damp winter can, can't last forever, but if it does. Maybe I'll have to start a snow toss tourney. See if I can make a gill or two. Hello, I are snowmen, men of snow, dripping these. Our life on hold slipping. Sad I am to see many dreams. Rally my spirits if you want to hear the finale. Okay, rally the snowman. Rally the snowman. I guess you are no matter your energy you can do. Huh. Cheer this coming up. Profane you are pain with so rally mundane. Shelter with a boon, my ice burn heart so sweet. See with the snowman. Willing I are to take with hot filling a battery of gallantry from the artillery of flattery, cheerish until drier our tears. Lightning, you do really twice the lightning strike. Kiss me, friend. If you thus miss, throw it though. Not so nice and smooth. Farewell, adventurer. So many troubles you quell. Peace we is. Drunk we have life to the less. Bye bye, world. All that lives must someday die. Bye, boy. Some must someday die. Well, that was weird. Speak softly to me, objective fulfilled. If I know was talking, a snowman, you don't say, it's speaking in rude, rude policy. I see now, someone's been having a bit of fun with the both of us. Like with some young ones, huh? I'll rest easy now, I'll tell you that.
Carl needs a favor of you, and the chagrin causes him to almost payment enough for the job. Goldsby asks for the help of Adventurer, yet I cannot leave the fort now, damn it. No, you're going to do us a service, is that not right, Adventurer? Then there's some urgent need for firewood, and we'll gain much by assisting us. The area around Skyfire Locks never lacks for firewood. Collect eight bundles and deliver them to Stefanon in the east of Hill. Men may die of want in the fort as well as a hubble. And Sentinel has need of an adept hunter to help the tool of the locks. Yes, Kitty, you're adorable. The common folk of Ishgard know how to seek shelter in Skyford locks whenever the dragons attack in force. Each stronghold must be victualized with these extra mouths to feed. Will you help secure meat and sheepskin from the curacults that roam the snowy plains? These, snow these stockpiles will mean the difference between life and death for the, help for the helpless folk under our protection. With the sheep skinned and dressed, make your deliveries at the strongholds and watchtowers. Every morsel and every shield against the cold counts, no matter how small. <laughs> Took your time, you snivelling in a way face. Firewood? I told you to bring firewood, you whelp. We added the fresh supplies from Camp Dragonhead. And stand up straight when I address you. <laughs> I mistook you for another. Sent out a recruit some time ago to take delivery of relief supplies. Came all this way to bring more fuel. Well, I'll bid you thanks anyway. Tis no comfort we seek, you understand, but life. The cold is too relentless to go so long without fire. I give thanks for your service, but Corinth is no place for those who lack discipline or faith. You will perish, and in so doing may have endanger a crusade. Stefan has no love for adventurers, but beggars cannot be choosers, and your help is urgently needed. He should be back by now, even if he had to wait for the worst of this storm. We have wandered to the North Road, that way around Pharaoh Crocs. Ahem, <coughs> adventurer. I sent a runner to Camp Dragonhead, but he has many hours overdue. I fear he's lost his way. Green recruit he is. I would prevail upon you to fetch him back. Bless you.
magic blade. The creature is the massive. Croc. Sneferoth. to be some of the creatures that I'm supposed to be hunting. Trying to get to a stopping point. You're welcome. just need to get in here, attune with the crystal, and take a break.
Okay. So, let's... Out. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.